Hello and welcome back everyone and today I have for you another challenge cast video and this is an idea for a season that Jonathan and I have been going back and forth with for a while now and even a viewer from one of my more recent videos commented around the same kind of idea where this challenge season we would be calling the challenge love and war or as Jack Jack called it uh, challenge X's and O's and this is playing off of the famous Johnny Bananas quote that says that everything is fair in love, war, and the challenges. There's also a podcast about the challenge entitled the same thing. So if you want more challenge content, go check them out. Um, for this challenge cast, there is going to be a total of 36 people competing. They will be grouped together in pairs. So there's going to be 18 pairs and they're going to be nine teams of couples and nine team of exes. And at the time of filming this video, February 2nd, they, these people are still coupled together and these people are still exes of one another. So just throwing that out there, if somebody breaks up or somebody finds their own pairing uh, in between I, filming this video and getting it out, uh, just know that this is when I started filming it and this is what, to my knowledge of who are coupled together and who are coupled and uh, exes together. So talking about a setting for this season, I think we should go back to maybe South Africa. I think South Africa was a good background. I didn't necessarily love Final Reckoning, but I think South Africa was a great background for a season. We also have Love Island that's taking place right now. It's in South Africa. And now let's get into the duos. I'm gonna start off by going through the list of couples that would be in the love category. And I'm going to just start off right now with Polly and Kara. They are the pair that you either love them or you love to hate them. I don't think you can talk about a couple from the challenge and not have them on the cast list. We also have Jordan and Tori, another, I think, couple that people would love to see work together. And again, when you're talking about a, a couple that's in the challenge, you're going to want to have Tori and Jordan there. Another one I think would be fun to watch is Bananas and Morgan. Now, this is one couple that I was looking fervously for to get confirmation that they were still a couple. They don't post a lot with each other, um, but I do think that they are still a couple. And if they are, let's have them in there. If not, let's put them on the X's team. Also, let's put in Zach and Jenna. They're engaged. They have been on multiple seasons of the challenge and let's see how they work together when they're actually paired up with one another. I have two big brother couples coming into this, this cast list, and I have Swaggy C and Bailey. Let's have them on there. They were a rock solid team, and I would love to see them on the challenge and compete with one another. And the other one I have is Faisal and Haley. Um, they were on the lower end of the alliances in their big brother season, both of those couples. But let's bring them into the challenge. And I think Faisal is a tr personal trainer. He has his own workout app. Let's get him in here and let's get Haley in there. And let's see how these couples do while in the challenge atmosphere. The another couple I have is Jesse Lebrec and Chris Degangi. I hope I'm saying that right. I've watched a ton of American Ninja Warrior in my life, both the original Ninja Warrior and American Ninja Warrior. I haven't been watching necessarily for the last like maybe two years, but this is the couple that Jonathan says is like the couple couple of American Ninja Warrior. There's so many people in the American Ninja Warrior um, atmosphere that could come into the challenge and do well. And I think could be liked and could be playing the challenge game to its full potential, and I think that we need more representation of American Ninja Warrior than, say, just Ninja. I think there's more people that could definitely, definitely give a lot of these uh, challenge cast members uh, the run for their money. So I want some more representation from American Ninja Warrior, for sure. The next one I have is Theo and Kaz. Both are from Love Island. Both are still going strong, and Theo is, is like a fan favorite at this moment, and I think it would be fun to see him and his lady pal on the challenge together, going hard and seeing how far they can get with one another and working well with one another. And the next one I have is Joe and Sierra. They just got engaged, they're, they're from Survivor. Let's have a Survivor team on here. I've been loving Joe on Survivor and let's see how he does on the challenge. I would love to see just really any Survivor people coming onto the challenge more. more. I mean, they, they go through so much on that season. Let's see them do a challenge, finally, please. 
And my alts for this one is Nelson and Angela. I know what you're saying. Uh, last time I saw they were together on Dr. Phil. If they broke up, then then that's fine. Uh, they don't need to be on the season anyways. Now, those are all my love category teams. Let's go to the war category. And with these, I have some iconic and not so iconic duos that are exes. My first one I have are two people that are on good terms with one another and they're two people that I would like to see paired up and it's two people that I pretty much root for every single season and that's Cam and Leroy. Um, I I love them and I would like to see them work well with one another. The next one I have is Bear and Georgia. They're just gonna, I think, forever be linked in their challenge life together, whether they are paired up with one another or not. Their first two seasons were bombastic with one another and if they're gonna be on a season like this, Let's pair them up together. The next one I have, uh, it pains me to say it because it's just, I don't want to say it, but it's D and Rogan. I love D. I would like to see her back on more and more challenges. And the only X I have for her is Rogan. And I'm not a huge fan of Rogan, but I think that pairing them up together, I don't know. This could be really, really good or really, really bad. And I just, I don't know. I don't know about this one, <laughs> to be honest. The next one I have is Sam and Tyranny from this season of X on the Beach Peak of Love. Things are getting a little hairy and if you aren't watching it, which majority of people aren't watching this season, uh, things are getting a little bit hairy. I know that Sam and Kayla have been seen together and are pretty much boyfriend and girlfriend at this moment and I even was contemplating putting Sam and Kayla onto the love duo team and I don't know, I think it could go either way, but what do you think about Sam and Kayla? Or if you think that Sam and Tyranny would be better, let me know that in the comments section below. I wanna hear what you have to say about this. And another one I have is Devin and Marie. Both are from uh, the challenge atmosphere, but they were also on X on the Beach on a previous season. And now let's bring them back together to face one another and have to work with one another. Now this duo I think could be taken well or not so well, and that is Hunter and Ashley Mitchell. I know what you're saying, the, this one is a little bit more dated. This was from Invasion of the Champs is when they had their um, relationship slash hookup and then they quickly uh, dispelled and were became exes. And they were even paired up with each other on Final Reckoning and we all saw well, how that turned out. And then Hunter just got his revenge on Ashley from War of the Worlds, get, taking her out first in the first elimination. But, I mean, it's like, why not? Let's put them both together. They're still technically exes. And let's see how they, they run together in this challenge season. And I think there could be a lot of tension having to work again with one another. I think Ashley is fine with it, but I think Hunter would still have, like, maybe some, like, nerves and stressed out about being paired up with Ashley yet again after what happened and I think this would be really fun to watch and see how they work with one another or how they don't work well with one another. The next one I have is Nicole and Laurel. This might not be good for the individual people but they dislike each other, their exes, and on X on the Beach Peak of Love and it did not end well. It's still not ending well as we've seen on Twitter and this could be one crazy season if Laurel and Nicole were to agree to be on this season and have to work together. The next one I have is Kyle and Faith. I know Faith hasn't really done a whole lot in the challenge atmosphere. I also flirted with putting Kyle and Maddie together but I feel as though they're on a really good terms and they weren't really technically exes and also, speaking of Maddie, I was even thinking, like, watching Flora Bama Shore that maybe Maddie and Jeremiah, if they were to start dating, they could be on the love, the love uh, category. Or if they were to date and then everything just fell from out from the bottom, they could make a really, really strong team in the X's complex. And then for my final team on this X's team would be Anissa and Veronica, um, longtime people of the challenge and I would like to see them back on the challenge. My alts for the X's or war category teams is Mark and Elena from X on the Beach and Big Brother. I know probably people don't like them whatsoever, but they're still an X. They still could be really tough with one another. And then we also have Marlon and Jemmy from X on the Beach and from the challenge. I think they could be really, really fun with one another and how all that will take place. Now I know what you're thinking because 
Jonathan and I thought the same exact thing is that the people in the couples that are still coupled today are having an immense advantage over those who are in the war category and who are exes. Say, Paulie and Kara might be at a better standing with one another than say Laurel and Nicole who are going to be at each other's throats from the beginning. So with that being said, we thought what if this season ran kind of like Battle of the Bloodlines where everybody in the first two episodes did the normal thing that we all expect the challenge to do. Everybody's running in their duos, everybody's doing what they need to do, and then hit episode three, whoever won the daily challenge in episode two would split up and they would start picking the teams that they would like to do. And every couple, no matter if they're a couple or an ex, will be split up into two different teams and they're gonna run these teams until there's only three duos left. And if somebody is put into the elimination, both them and their partner are out of this game. Almost exactly like Bloodlines. Then with the eliminations, we were talking about possibly doing kind of like a free agent. So in the first two episodes, when you're running in pairs, there is going to be a winning pair in that challenge. And that person will get to pick somebody to put into the elimination. And then everybody else will have to flip over a heartbreak card. And if you find a heartbroken card, you're going into the elimination that night. There is no tribunal, there's no troika, there's not even a vote until we get to the two-team format in the middle of this season. Now, when we go into a two-team format, this is where we're gonna split up and we're gonna have a guy's elimination and a girl's elimination going back and forth week by week. And with that being said, there's going to be the team who wins will get to vote and they get to vote in somebody to go into the elimination. And then everybody else on the losing team will have to flip over the cards and see if they can find a heartbreaking card. And then that person is going into the elimination to go up against whoever was voted into the elimination. I am so tired of having a speaker picking two people that they like, running through this game, getting to vote in whoever they want to vote in. This takes out a lot of, this puts a lot more random into who's going into the elimination and it adds a little bit more strategy to it. And that's what I wanna see back into the challenge. I wanna see actual people voting with themselves on the line. So, so having to split up these teams and people working together in two different teams. Now, even if you're on the other team, you're still worried about either your ex or your love companion. And you have to hurt, wish that they stay in this game. So maybe you're not working with one another, but you're still worried about your person on the other team. So that's where our minds are at when coming up with this challenge uh, season, with the cast list, with how the format is going. But what do you think about this challenge season? Let me know that in the comment section below. What do you think about the format, about having like a mixture of bloodlines and free agents? Let me know that in the comment section below. What do you think about the teams? Is there a team that are a couple that we didn't think about? Let us know in the comment section below. Or an ex you would, from a different show altogether or a different challenge X that you would like to see on this challenge season? Let me know that in the comment section below. I wanna hear anything and everything you have to say. And really, when we were talking about this, this took us like three weeks to a month just talking back and forth almost every single day about this season and the format and the elimination style. And it's something that I was like, this would be an amazing season and I wanna make it the best it could ever be. So if there is a couple out there from a different show like Big Brother, X on the Beach, or X's from any other different shows that you think would fit into this format a little bit more than what I have already set up, let me know that in the comment section below. I wanna hear anything and everything you have to say. Maybe there's a Bachelor or Bachelorette couple that you would like to see run this game, or somebody from the Love Island UK from a previous season, or from Australia, or Geordie Shore. Let us know, and I would love to hear anything and everything you have to say. But thank you so much for watching. While you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be back really, really soon with more challenge content, brief histories, challenge cast videos. I'm working on some top 10s and top 5s that are coming out very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled and many, many more videos and more content and just more videos in general. But thank you so much for watching. And until then, peace.